Hey Stitch Cuties, it's time to make our Tommy turkey. Look at him, he's so fun. Okay, so let's talk about what you need to have to get started. So of course you're gonna have all your pre-fused laser cut applique pieces. You have your fabrics from your kit, you have your pattern, you've downloaded your embroidery files. So the thread colors that we're going to use on this project, let me bring them into view for you. Nice and Thanksgiving type fall colors. So they're all sulky 40 weight rayons. We have white 1001 that we'll start with. We have black 1005. Then we have the silver gray 1218. We have the tawny tan 1056. This beautiful fall red 1169. Forgot the name of this particular color. And then of course avocado 1177. And then I have my Steady Betty, I have my light pad, I have my fusing mat and my applique glass and a cutting mat under here. And then of course I have my Steam Fast Travel Iron that you'll see me use throughout the entire video. I have my hoop loaded with my Sulky Tear Easy Stabilizer. I have become obsessed with this um, stabilizer. We carry it on our website. It is lightweight, but also very durable. So it's great to use in the hoop of your machine. I'm obsessed. And then let me give you a tip before we get started. Now, if you'll notice, Tommy Turkey has a lot of different pieces, right? And they're all very similar. They're all little lines, right? That decorate his little tail feathers of his little turkiness. So let me tell you how I mapped out the pattern for you. If you take a look at your reverse applique pieces, you'll notice they're kind of grouped together, right? Well, let me show you how we lasered it for you. So look at this little square, right? These are my little brown pieces, the spotted brown. If you take a look at this, it lines up right over this. So it's very easy to number your pieces. Normally I go in and peel all my backing off and I have everything ready to go. Well with this, because there's so many pieces, that's just too hard to keep all these pieces straight. So I'm actually gonna just cut them and put them into place as I need them. So that way I can use the numbers, right? So the little brown goes here. Then we have that fun um, fall red color. If you take that, you'll see it lines up right here, right? So the piece is 11 and ends in 52. Then we have the black, right? So this one's easy to identify. It's right here at the top. See how that, you can see that they look alike. I lasered exactly what I gave you on your placement guide. Then all this fun cheddar, which is the base of his little feathers. If you take a look at this, it fits right here on all your feathers. And what I'm doing is I just wrote the number of each one on the back of my fusible. Then we have his little body, so the gray. Line that up right here so you know which numbers those are. And then we have, ooh, this fun green. I think it's like an avocado green or spruce green. I forgot what, what the name is. But you can see it easily lines up right here. So, and then the body, you don't really have to number the body. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty self-explanatory that that's his little pumpkin pixie, but you definitely can if you want to. So this just makes it a lot easier when it, you don't normally need to do this, but when you have so many pieces, they're all really similar, right? They're just these little lines. It makes life a lot easier. And like all the little tail feathers of the turkey are very similar. So that's what I did with my pieces. And as we go along, I'm just gonna trim them and peel them as I need them. So nice and easy to keep track of. So without further ado, let's load our white thread onto our machine and load that file and let's get started. Okay, so in your hoop, just like always, you have your T stitched. So what you're gonna do is prepare your fabric. So I've pressed it flat, do a little bit of starch. Now I'm gonna fold it right sides together. Now this is a, um, Bella solid, so it's really hard to tell if there's a right side, but pick which one you think. And then you're gonna fold it one more time. And then just take your hoop, I turn it sideways so it fits in the camera view for you real nicely. And you're just gonna line this up right here at your T. So I have my fold and my fold lining up with the T. And then I just simply unfold once and unfold again. Now don't worry, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. So remember at the end, we're gonna trim it down a lot. So you have way more than enough fabric to get your, your block. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of tape. And then with the white thread, we're gonna put this back on and the machine is gonna give us our first round of applique outlines. Alrighty, so take a look. We have a whole bunch of applique outlines, right? So you wanna get all your pieces ready. So we're gonna start down here and I just put all my little pieces in a pile. So we're gonna start with piece number one. 
So remember for this, cause there's so many pieces on this block, I do have my fusible backing on there. So I'm gonna tear that off with you while we do this. And then piece number seven. And so to get the um, backing off, you just lightly fold down and your little backing comes off right away. So I have these two pieces in place, give it a press. And then the next piece is gonna be number 13, which actually that one I did not get ready, but I can show you when you're just snipping them free, remember we have them labeled, just grab your scissors, do a straight little snip right there. And that's one thing I love these Karen K Buckley's cause they just make it so easy because they're sharp all the way to the point, which I love. So there we go. And now for all of these feathers, they're all a little bit different. Remember we have them numbered, but you can get out your placement guide and just have that as a reference, right? So we're gonna lay 15, 18, 21, 23, 26, 29, 32, 35, 38, 41, and 43 down. So again, I have them all ready to go. Let me just pick them up. I'm gonna move them closer to me right there. So see, and I put them in numerical order. I just think it makes it a little bit easier. And I'm gonna lay down a couple at a time actually to get them in place. The number 18. Whoop. So you just be doing this with me at your house. Get your little pieces in place. Get ready to iron. Think about Thanksgiving. I know Thanksgiving this year, it's 2020. So it's gonna be a little different than normal, but just be glad we have fun things to sew to keep our minds on happy thoughts, right? These are the happy boxes that you get in the mail every month. So you get to be happy and it's something to look forward to and it doesn't involve any news. <laughs> it's just fun. That's what we try to be in the world. It's just this little place of fun for you. So now I'm on piece number 26. And so I've put a few down in place. I'm gonna go on and give these a little press just to make sure I don't bump them. And so now just keep on going. I'm on 29. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. And then 32. There we go. 35. See, it's fun. He's gonna start looking like a turkey soon, isn't he? And then another little piece right here. Let me give these a press, just to make sure I don't bump them. So we have three more to go. This is number 38. And it's so easy to put these in place, remember, because all your applique outlines are the exact outlines that we use when we cut the pieces for you with our lasers. So this is just straight up fun. And one more little piece for this step, and that's number 43. Then we're gonna continue with the white thread on our machine for another step. And what the machine is gonna give us is another round of, oop, I knocked that little guy out of place. Another round of applique pieces. So once you press those down, go on and put this right back on the arm of your machine. Okay, so now for the next round, we have a lot of pieces that are gonna involve the tail feathers of our turkey. So you can see what I've done is I've cut all my pieces free and I still have the fusible on them and I still have them numbered. And what I've done is just kind of lay them by where they're gonna go. So I'm gonna set this to the side carefully. And what I'm gonna do is pull my little thing off the hoop. Take a look, we have a bunch of pieces to put in place, right? And we have some areas that over and underlap. So we wanna be really careful. Now I have more pieces sitting over here. And I've gone on and put these in numerical order because that just makes my life easy. So I have pieces two through six. We're gonna put those on first, right? These are the squares down here. Now all of these rectangles are the exact same size. So you just wanna make sure that you have them going in the right spot to begin with and it'll be no problem. So let's just get busy. And I'm gonna kind of press them as I go because I don't want to wobble them too much. <laughs> like a turkey wobbles or they waddle. Do they waddle or wobble? Maybe they do both. There we go. And then piece number four. Get that little guy right in there. And then number five. Oop. 
and number six. Now, the next area has a bunch that you wanna make sure you put on in the right order. So once I press this down, we'll do that. So next up is piece number eight, which is the fun little accent on our little Turkey Tom's outfit. There we go, so right there. And then next up is number nine, which is his little footsie. So put that right in place. And then we'll give these two pieces a nice pressing. There we go. He's got one leg. <laughs> now he needs another. So here's piece number 10. And that goes right here. So see, we've successfully built our little layer of legs right there. Now the next piece is number 14. So we're actually gonna jump over here to his hand. There we go. And then get this little guy right in place. And now we have all the stripes. I'm gonna sit down for this because it's gonna take a minute. Well, y'all don't know that I'm standing because you can't see me, but. So now I'm gonna roll up my sleeves. And the first two pieces we're gonna put down are 15. Or I'm sorry, excuse me, 15's already down. We're gonna put down 16 and 17. So you just wanna pay attention to your placement guide and make sure you put the right piece in the right area. So let's get this little guy right here. This is number 16. And now number 17, which is the fun reddish color. There we go. And once those are in place, give it a press. Now, 18's already down, remember? So now we're doing 19 and 20. So 19 is the green. Goes right there. There we go. And you'll know you have it in the right spot because your little angles at the ends of these lines line up perfectly with your with your um, little tail feather. There we go. Just make sure you get it right in those lines. And we'll give that a press. So now 21 is our feather. It's already down. So now we'll do 22. And I will say, I know this block has a lot of pieces, but it's really easy. Just use your placement guide and count along with me in the video and you'll be just fine. So I'm gonna press that one in a second. So we have 23 is already down. So we're gonna do 24 and 25. So 24 is another brown one. Get this little guy right there. And number 25. This is such a fun block to make in November. It makes me really look forward to Thanksgiving. I'm sure like many of you, we're gonna do Thanksgiving outside. We really do Thanksgiving outside a lot anyway, so it's really not different for us. Cause Steven always grills a turkey. Sorry, Turkey Tom. <laughs> and then um, a lot of times we sit outside and I'm really excited this summer. I got some new deck furniture. So I have like a little living room area out there that's nice and distant. So now that was um, 24 and 25. So now 26 is already down. So we're on 27 and 28. So 27 is black. So we'll be able to hang out outside, safely distanced. And I know it's weird, but I haven't had anyone in my house. So we're just gonna hang out. And we always do a fire pit evening on Thanksgiving evening. So again, nothing really different than what we normally do. There we go. So now next up is this piece is number 29. It's already in place. So we're doing 30 and 31. So 30 is our burgundy red color again. Wish I could remember the name of that red right now because it's a fun name. I'm gonna say like bayberry red or wildberry red or something like that. But I just like the name of it. I should know, but I just don't. And so this is piece number 31. So we'll give these two a good little press. So piece number 32 is already in place. So now we're gonna put down 33 and 34. So 33 is black. It goes towards the top of the feather. 
Y'all, I don't have my normal nails right now. It's kind of hard. The struggle is real without my nails. But I'm trying to go back to natural. It's, it's challenging. I know they haven't looked great in the videos for y'all, and I apologize, but there's just nothing I can do about it. Got to get them growing out. See? Ooh, it looks bad. Okay, so now 35 is this next feather already in place. So we're grabbing 36 and 37. 36 is your green. It's towards the top of your feather. Of our little turkey. How funny to think of a sheep dressed up like a turkey. That makes me giggle. But these are all whimsical characters. They're dressed up as all kinds of stuff, right? And then this is number whatever number it is. I forgot already. 37, I believe. So then next up, number 38 is in place. So we're going to press on 39 and 40. We're almost there, y'all. We're almost there. 39 is the brown. Whoop, he goes this way. Again, you can see with the angles of your lines, you'll know that you have it the right direction. And then number 40. And I have to tell y'all, y'all can't see me in the camera, but the heat is on in the office today. And when I film for y'all, I always get hot. I don't know why. Talking makes me hot. And so right now, I am melting. <laughs> so now piece number 41 is already down. So this little feather only has one stripe, number 42. And get this little guy in place for you. And so 43 is the next feather already in place and its little stripes are 44 and 45. Our little Turkey Tom is starting to look like something, isn't he? He's so cute. Kind of wish I could have just like, you know, actually it would be really cute to make, you know, use your reverse applique pieces and trace him again and put him on like a little um, potholder trivet type thing. It would be cute or put him on a towel to use in your guest bath. That would be fun. Oh, he goes the other way. There we go, that's our final piece of all our little tail feathers. Yay, we did it! That didn't take too long, did it? There we go, so now it's time to put this back on your machine and we're gonna start, oh, y'all, we almost forgot to put the body on. Oh my goodness. I'm just thinking about food on Thanksgiving. Number 46, we kinda need to give him a body. So I'm gonna put the body in place. Mom just walked in and is laughing behind the scenes, y'all. She heard me in the hallway. So now, get your little body turned the right way. See why we did this last? Because it goes over all of your little tail feathers. And so with a big piece, just make sure you have them lined up at the top, bottom, sides. And this looks perfect. So now, you know the drill. Press it in place. And again, don't pull your iron you pick it up and move it i know it probably looks like i pull it because you can't see like the motion of me lifting it but there we go now he's starting to look like a little turkey so cute so when we put it back on still with the white thread we're going to get an outline of we're going to start building his right arm do some embellishments on his left leg and he's going to get a face that's pretty exciting Okay, so we have our next round of applique outlines. We wanna make sure there's one area of over and underlap. We wanna make sure we pay attention to that. So, first up is piece number 11. Let me put them on here where y'all can see what I'm reaching for, right? So, number 11 is this fun little zigzaggy. These would be cute tights, huh? Well, <laughs> I don't know where I'd wear tights with like, burgundy lightning bolts on them but somewhere maybe I could wear them to work and entertain the team right and then next up is piece number 12 so normally again you know I don't number all my pieces and do it this way but I'm doing it this way for you all this time because this little guy just had so many pieces so now number 47 is his right arm there we go and then next up will be his face and his little hat. So we wanna make sure that we put his hat on first. 
which is piece number 49. Y'all, I need some nails. There we go. And just make sure you turn it the right direction. There we go. So give that little guy a press. And now number 50. He's going to have a face. <laughs> there we go. And so when you have a piece, you know, that has extra little jut outs and stuff, you want to make sure you get them in place and then start working your way over. There we go. That looks good to me. And give a little press here. There we go. So now when we put this back on, we have two more applique outlines in the next step. So we'll be back to put those on. Okay, so you'll see our two applique outlines. So first up, piece number 48. Just like so. Get that little guy in place. And then number 51, which is a little headband. There you go. And we'll press both of these. Then we put it back on. We have one more applique outline and that is for the embellishment on his little headband. There we go. So keep the white thread on for that next step. Alrighty, take a look. You have one little squiggle line and that is for the outline of our very last piece. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, this is number 52 and you're just gonna put it right in place. There we go. And it's a perfect little fit right there on his hat. There we go, give it a press. Now for the next several steps, we're gonna do thread color changes. I'm gonna take mine on and off the hoop so that I can talk to you about the thread colors and what's about to stitch. For you on your machine at your house, you don't need to take your um, hoop on and off the arm of your machine. So the first color that we're gonna change to is black. 1005 the machine is going to do all of the black accents right and it's also going to stitch down here for you it's going to stitch your green right here because that's stitched in black on the quilt so let's get to work yay let's take a look all the black parts are stitched and look he has a face looks so good now it is time to change to 1218, the silver gray, and the machine is going to do the buttonhole stitch down here on his legs and his arms, and of course, around his ears and his face. All right, take a look, all of your silver gray, that 1218 stitched. Look at his little face, it's so cute. So now it is time to load the tawny tan, which is 1056, and the machine is going to do all of the um, the cheddar color on your feathers. It's gonna do your brown feathers, and it's also going to do around his body, and of course the accent down here on his leg. Alrighty, let's take a look. All of that tawny tan stitched for us. Looks so good. Yay! Now it is time to put on 1169, and I looked up what it's called. It's Bayberry Red. Yay, it was bothering me that I couldn't remember the name. So we're gonna load this and the machine is of course going to do those accents for us and right here on this leg. All right, take a look. All that red is stitched for you, the Bayberry Red. Now it is time for our last color change. We are going to load avocado, which is 1177 and the machine is going to stitch all the remaining accents for you. Alrighty, all of that avocado green is stitched and so now your Tommy Turkey is all done. So now it's time to go back to the pattern that came in your kit and you are going to trim your block down to size. You can use your applique placement guide as um, an outline, right? To your, I believe it's nine and a half inches squared. You have to read the pattern. And you're gonna trim that and then you will trim your borders to the right size and sew those on. And then next month we'll get ready to stitch our December block. I hope that you all enjoyed making your Tommy turkey and happy stitching.